This is going to make a lot of women and some little beta males really, really mad. We don't care. Let's get into this. What's good? Hey, man. Did you know most women don't deserve you? Did you know that some women just aren't qualified for you? Oh, you thought that men are just supposed to prove themselves and do everything for women. No basis at all. Flowers at her doorstep for no reason. She don't even offer you the gut. She deserves everything. Even when she gives you the gut. See, that's standard issue right there. That already comes prepackaged. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know if it's good. It could smell like red lobster dumpster. And you over here with your little weak ass picked out some flowers, edible arrangements. Meanwhile, she over here giving the guts to her daddy at work, to her work husband. I'm here to tell you guys enough is enough. That don't even gotta be the case, right? And PSA, this don't come from a place of hate, right? We hear a lot of talk about this red pill rage and all this. First off, the red pill isn't predicated just on women. It's definitely an important aspect, but that's not what it's all about. It's a life pill, all right? It's a life pill. And here's the deal. The reason why it's not coming from a place of hate from me and us on this side is because we're winners. We're winners. When you're a winner, you don't have any reason to spread hate. It's no point. Because in order for you to continue to win, you just want to stay on the right path. I digress. Back to these hoes that don't deserve you, right? Back to these women that don't deserve you, dog. A lot of them don't. A lot of them don't. Let's get into the habit of understanding this change your mindset bro change your mindset because i'm telling you dog a lot of them is not even worthy of your time anytime a chick want to sit here and try to get more energy out of you they do this in the form of manipulation what a lot of women like to do they like to randomly start arguments now if you've been piping your girl right if she's been getting drilled by you You've been handling the expedited shipping and handling services or dropping that dick off, sliming the bacon grease on the forehead. You fulfilled your duty as a man. All right, you fulfilled your duty as a man today. From a modern woman's standpoint, you come standard issue guts, I'm dropping dick off. That's literally what it is. That's literally what it is until she has proven more, until she has shown more, until a woman sits here and appreciates you as a man and says, you know what? Let me actually give him the respect he deserves so that we can continue to elevate proportionally. She must reciprocate what you're putting out. But a lot of times, guys, you know what's happening? You're doing too much. Guys, you're doing too much. You're doing too much for them and they haven't even deserved it. Talking to one of my bros dealing with a chick, right? And this is the most common situation that I encounter that I see with guys I'm having consultations with and the guys that are struggling with the modern woman. It's the mindset that they have, guys. We need to make an adjustment. You know what that is? Stop caring. Stop caring. You literally got to pull yourself away sometimes when a chick is just obstinate. When she's not cooperating. See, what we're looking for, guys, at the very least is a cooperative woman. If she gives respect, you give respect. Everything is cool. Everything is cordial. She makes the process smooth for you. She's not listening to her single women friends that are telling some dumb shit that she want to listen to. He should be. And this man, she don't know nothing about keeping a man. She don't know nothing about making a man happy. These women know up and down whether a man is cheating on them, but don't know whether he's happy. Ain't that crazy? They pick out the negative all the time. Never focus on the positive. They don't concern themselves with understanding where a man is coming from. Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now that most of them do not deserve you. And guess what? It's okay. You know what a lot of guys fall into the trap of? As a result of you being manipulated, not only by the women, certain women you're dealing with that aren't worthy of you, but even by societal standards, they're telling you, you must do, do, do. You must take action. You must take action to show her, to prove to her, to, to do this for her, to make her happy, make her happy, make her. Stop it. Stop it. We're done with that. It's, it's no more of that. 
it's a whole new day world. We we in a whole new age now. And if it ain't happening, it's happening now. From this point on, I'm telling you, we are not going out of our way. We're not stepping out of our boundaries. You create boundaries. If they step outside of that, that is their fault. Women always want to say, the modern woman, guess what she want to say? I'm free to do whatever I want. You're controlling. No, I'm not. The door is wide open. You just know that whatever action you take, you will face consequences. And it's that simple. It's that simple. Ain't no argument that needs to happen. Guys, you don't have to participate. Did you know that you don't got to participate in the little bullshit people say or do? Especially the women that don't deserve you. What? You don't have to expend the unnecessary energy to tell a chick. If you had to show a chick, hey, this is what I respect. Here are my boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Here's what I, and this is what I've developed as a man going through life. We come from two different backgrounds. You come from a woman's side where a lot of times you were coddled and told that, oh, this is how life needs to be for you. And here, daddy going to take care of you, baby. And you my little princess. And, or maybe you didn't have a father at all. The only way you can get attention and feel appreciated is by shaking your ass and getting drilled by men. Well, you already disqualified anyway, so I don't know what to tell you, hoes. But I digress. The women that think that everything should be presented to them on a silver platter, it's up for them. It's up. They finna be crashing out. They finna be crashing out, guys. I want you to like stand firm, bro. Stand firm in the pocket on not going the extra mile for the women that don't deserve you, bro. A lot of them don't. Guys, the only reason I'm making this video, bro, I'm really tired of men getting used and abused, taken for granted, really. Taken for granted. They don't understand how we don't ever speak up about it, right? So I got to be the voice of reason somehow. I got to be the voice that's explaining what's going on somehow. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's all it is. That's all it is. I'm just telling you exactly what I hear. I've been doing this for too long and talk to too many people and understand exactly what it is that we go through because we do go through it you know what i'm saying this ain't no fucking cry me a river <laughs> i'm gonna cry in a fetal position no we ain't no bitch shit like that just know that most of them don't deserve you you're not looking for this chick to be your mother it's just can you have respect for a man so i can have respect for you we understand that there's a misunderstanding the whole discrepancy here is that men and women are different Women don't care to understand a man. We're understanding that y'all are definitely more difficult than we are and how we need to adjust, especially making that adjustment to the modern woman today. And I'm here to tell you, your adjustment is literally sitting back, listening, letting them talk and divulge exactly what they appreciate in life. They divulge secrets. They divulge their habits. They divulge actually what they care about. And what they think is valuable. You know what a lot of it is? A lot of dumb shit. Attention is valuable to me. So if a guy gives me more attention, what you can't do, another guy will. But go ahead. Find him. Go find him. Get comfortable with just letting him go. Get comfortable with just being like, deuces. It's that simple. Like, ain't, ain't no hate there. You know what I'm saying? Do I sound like a guy that's like, oh, he's a, I'm not pressed for pussy. I destroy pussy. If the pussy deserves me, it will definitely get taken care of over and over and over. I'm not pressed for that. I'm not out here struggling. And, oh, I've worked hard to be in a position where I can sit back and let them gravitate towards me. And then I'm like, okay, I'm picking and choosing. Okay, baby. Well, you've passed the first initiation. Here's your application. Make sure you write in blue or black ink and then return that application and I will give you an interview date. That's how I see it. Motherfuckers think I'm crazy because I see it like that. That's cool. That's cool. But I'll tell you something else. You got to be viewed that way. You get respect. People will view you as crazy or, oh, he's defying odds or he's doing something that other people don't think this way. And that's not right. You want to fall in line with the rest of these bums out here or you want to be a winner. Right. You got a choice, dog. I'm speaking to the men here. You got a choice. You can either continue to be walked all over, undervalued, and unappreciated by women. The modern woman today is who we're talking about. If you a chick out here with traditional values, 
You treat your man with respect. He gives the same. This ain't for you. If the shoe fits, you got to wear that motherfucker, though. If the shoe fits, I'm telling you right now, this video, you don't deserve a winner as a man. You don't deserve him because you ain't shit. Take that. Take that. For real, though. No diddy. You got to realize we ain't putting up with no more bullshit no more. Like, this is what it is. Guys, this is what it is, man. I want y'all to actually be out here focused on you winning. Maybe you got a couple chicks that are cooperative and they actually deserve you. Cool. You give them the time they deserve. Mutual reciprocation. As soon as that's done, you are back to the grind. Like, for real. Some chick commented, you can keep all the pick -me's. What you telling a winner? Okay, cool. Cool. And you act like you telling a man a bad thing. Keep the pick -me's. Keep the women that want to get chose by a real king. Keep the women that want to be with a real man. Sure. It sounds like they will present a value of appreciation as opposed to the modern women thinking that they got to go out here and have every man beg on hand and foot for a whiff of some pussy or, or for some feet pics or some shit. Well, what the hell? The box is probably trash. It's probably red lobster dumpster guts in between her thighs right there. You don't even know. You think she A1. She not. Because she ain't qualified for you. So you don't know. You don't know. Let them qualify for you. Let them prove them. So let me sit back in the cut for a second. Don't react. Don't get emotional about it. Just observe. Hmm. These are the women that gravitate towards me. These are the women that I attract. Right? You'll come to the realization real quick. Either you like what you're getting or you don't. Either they're good enough or they're not. And then here's what you do. I want to change that. So boss up, right? So work hard. Because as a man, that's what you got to do. Set a higher standard for yourself. Set greater expectations of yourself. And then that's what they got to show you. They also got to be better. Women piss off because... They don't want to work for nothing. That's why. It's that simple. They don't want to have to prove nothing. I have guts, though. I have guts. Why don't you want my guts? Why are my guts good enough to get millions and millions of dollars and a baller and all of y'all can have? Y'all, All of y'all want him, right? So he's supposed to prove himself to you. He's supposed to be out here like, oh, man, I, I got to do whatever it takes. But all of them want him. That don't make no damn sense. It's simple economics, bitch. There's a high demand for him. And the quantity of y'all hoes is supremely high. High demand for him. High quantity of you hoes. That's how it's going to be. It's pretty damn simple. It's pretty damn simple. You got to understand the market that we actually living in. That's what it is. You make a purpose of yourself to become the best version you can be. To reach your full potential and literally... You have no choice. Guys, listen to me. You have no choice. The women have no choice but to earn you, but to actually prove themselves to you. Because what am I pressed for? What am I pressed for? Not a damn thing. Let them deserve you. Let them earn you. Most of them actually don't try to. Most of them don't care to. Most women don't deserve you. This is a realization we got to come to. And that's cool. Because all you're going to do is sit back in a cut and win. At the end of the day, you are the bait. And they want you when you win. That's it, man. You stuck around this far, put winning in the comment section. Because that's all we doing. Y'all be easy.